It's bag maintenance and wax canvas on this one. So we love wax canvas here at Nutsack. It is some truly special material. It gets its name from the wax that is embedded in the canvas fibers during the manufacturing process. The wax is an important component of the material that really gives it the unique characteristics, including some of its hydrophobic properties. Now there are some manufacturers out there who produce a cheap facsimile of the stuff that we use. It will smell heavily of chemical, the wax will transfer onto your hands or onto your clothes. To be clear, we don't work with those manufacturers. When you buy a nutsack, you're buying high quality material. Wax canvas is tough, it's water resistant, and it takes on a really cool patina over time. You don't have to worry about superficial scrapes or scuffs. It'll only add to the unique character of your bag, and it's just part of the charm of, uh, of wax canvas. Now, one thing to note about wax canvas is it does change a little bit in color over time. So newer wax canvas is going to be darker, more green in hue. Older wax canvas is going to be uh, lighter in color. And this is because newer wax canvas has wax that has not fully cured, but it will lighten with use and over time. Okay, on to cleaning. When it comes to cleaning, there's a few things you should know up front. First, don't put your bag in a washing machine or a dryer, and don't send it to be dry cleaned either. Secondly, don't use soap. Soap will strip the wax from this fabric and it will damage the bag. To clean, all you need to use is a rag and some water. Just wipe it down. You can also stick your bag underneath some running water in your sink or throw it outside and take a hose to it. Then, just allow it to air dry. Now, some of our customers have pets and it's not uncommon that some unpleasant pet fluid will wind up uh, on your bag. And if that happens, we have a couple suggestions to disinfect and to remove the smell. The first thing that you can do is get a spray bottle and just fill it with white vinegar. Then you can spray the external and interior of the bag and again, allow it to air dry. Following that, you can try using just some standard baking soda. Take a little bit of that, sprinkle it on the exterior, allow it to sit overnight and for, the, for it to absorb in the fabric. And in the morning, just dust it off. And one more easy thing you can try is simply leaving your bag outside in the sunlight for a period of time. Sunlight's a great disinfectant and will also remove smell. Now there's just a couple other things I quickly want to mention. The first, has to do with raw denim. Raw denim contains an indigo dye that will easily transfer onto most fabrics, wax canvas being no exception. So just be cautious when you wear that type of garment and use your bag at the same time. Sometimes we get questions about rewaxing. We discourage you from rewaxing your bag primarily because doing so doesn't really restore the bag to its original condition. What we use here at the office for restoration purposes is a heat gun. And you can pick this up at any craft store. I'll give you a quick demo on how we use it. Okay, so I've got my bag here. I'm just gonna start off by distressing it a little bit. Get some scratch marks on there. And I'm gonna take my heat gun and set it on low. So you can kind of see the effect that that has. It sort of reconstitutes the fabric it brings the color back out and resets the patina. Okay, I think that just about covers it on the basics of maintenance. If you have any tough stains or any questions, just drop us a line. Thanks for watching.